The strangest thing I've ever eaten, I, do you really want to hear this? And the strangest thing I've ever eaten happened while I was a judge on Chopped uh, for the Food Network. <laughs> so the first course at 7.05 in the, in the mystery, in the, in the basket, whatever, lamb testicles. Yeah, at 7.05 in the morning. <laughs> it was awesome. So I had like three amateur cooks cooking me three versions of lamb testicles on camera um, at 7.05 in the morning. Um, my most recent sort of new thing that I had never tried before was cod tongues. And so, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, imagine, it's hard to, put, it's hard to describe what they are, but they, it's kind of like the coolest calamari you'll ever, you'll ever have in your life. And, uh, and I've been looking for them ever since. I used to live in Vancouver and um, there's a guy, a, a close friend of mine, he was a guest in the restaurant, he used to always take us out to dinner, he would take us to these, um, these Chinese restaurants and he would know the owners and he would all, always order all this crazy stuff and this one time he put this bowl of soup in front of me and I was eating it and I'm like, what is it? And he's like, just eat it, it's got ginseng in it, it'll make you really strong, really healthy, he's like, eat it, eat it. So I ate it, I'm like, what are these little white things? And he's like, oh, they're chicken, they're chicken um, balls, they're chicken gonads and I was like, Thanks, man. I was down working with the Pimon Indians in, in Venezuela, and they taught me how to fish for termites and how to fish for tarantula with a little stick, and they made an incredible hot sauce out of the, out of the termites, and that was something that was both strange for me and also the time, you know, it's, you, you learn as you, when you put your hands into people's, indigenous people's, um, and you put yourself in their hands and, and trust them, generally good things come from it. So this, this actually was a really good spice. In one of the competitions that I competed in, I had to work with marshmallow and squid, and I ended up making an, a really tasty marshmallow sauce that had horseradish and creme fraiche, and it was paired with another sauce, which was smoked paprika, and it really worked. In Venezuela, I've eaten a lot of weird stuff. I spent a couple of summers in the jungle in Venezuela. Uh, I've eaten some big, big bugs, uh, grubs specifically. One of, they had one beverage that was particularly disgusting, which is made from cassava, but you chew the cassava and then you spit it out, and then that spit is fermented, and then you drink that. So it's pretty gross. That's probably one of the worst things I've ever, I've ever uh, consumed. It's a communal spit pot, yep. Our ancestors, they used to cure themselves with fermentation. We use our microorganisms to clean the body. So the non is one of them. So the Polynesian, you should put them in the water, right? And then close it and let it ferment on the sun. It's a, it's a fruit, then it, uh, basically the Hawaiian, it's a, it's a high detox uh, fruit, right? Only when it's fermented. I don't know if I can see in camera out the smell of that thing, what it is, it's so disgusting. It's really unbelievable. So when it's really, really fermented, it gets really dark, and then you take shot, like one every day for, for a couple of weeks, and that it's a completely cleanser. So the other strangest thing I've ever eaten happened when I was in Tokyo. This little sushi restaurant slash izakaya, they were super stoked to have, you know, American chefs and all that. And we were honored with this gift at the end of the night. So we had a really long meal, and we're hanging out at the end of the meal. So he went and reached, on, it was like the top of a refrigerator in the corner of this room in the back, like where it's nice and hot and gross. Um, and he pulled a jar out, and the jar was filled with like a bunch of clams out of their shell in clam liquid. And it was like fermented clam. And he poured like an ounce of these fermented clams. It was like, bloop, bloop, like gross, like, and like he gave them to, all to us. And it was like, you know, it was one of those things where like you can't say no, you know? And I gotta tell you, man, that thing touched my palate and I like, I, I did everything I could to like, you know, not gag. It was really vile. <laughs>